I'll just tell you a little bit about what we'll be talking about. We will introduce you to the world's rarest marine dolphin. I will tell you about how hard they have it, why this is happening, what the experts have to say about why it is happening and, and where we should go from there. Is there a future and if yes, what is it? Hector's dolphins, Cephalorynchus hectori, is the smallest marine dolphin in the world. It maximum size about 1.4 meters. It's the rarest marine dolphin on Earth and it's New Zealand's only endemic dolphin, which means it lives nowhere else. Hector's dolphins, in 1970s, we had about 30,000 uh, 30, of them. Um, then nylon filament gill nets came into play, and today there are 7,200. Maui's dolphins, if you remember, the ones that live only on the west coast of the North Island, the 1970s, roughly 1,000 individuals. Today, we have 55. Over the past decade, gill netting and trawling have decimated Maui's and Hector's dolphins almost to the point of extinction. Fishing is the number one threat and is causing for Maui's dolphins 95.5% of human-induced mortalities. And you look at the green area, which is the area where they are protected, it is not surprising that they are declining. Um, so only a fraction of the animal's range is protected against harmful fishing methods. And the government has, is in the moment looking at new measures for Maui dolphins, and they fall way short of anything that would make any difference. So we have 30 years of long-term data. We have a single threat profile, which is fishing. We live in a, they live in a country where there's a high level of environmental awareness, and they are endemic to a country that is not crippled by either warfare or poverty. But for the last 25 or 30 years, Hector's Maui dolphin conservation has been marred by the unwill unwillingness to base conservation decisions on science, a lack of goal, of, of goal oriented management resulting in unsuccessful half measures, an unhealthy dependence on the fishing industry, lack of political will and completely unnecessary delays. And together they make a perfect recipe for extinction. Is it too late? Sometimes, I wonder, but apparently, we have some genetic studies now, no. The genetic diversity in the dolphins in Maui is still high enough that they can bounce back if they are left alone. So it's up to us to take the, get the nets taken out of the water, which means turning the Red Sea green and full protection to a 100 meter depth contour. If it carries on as it is, extinction is not just the most likely outcome, but it is what is good, what we're facing, or what they're facing, more importantly. Unless, of course, all of us start doing something about it. <laughs> um, and that includes, if, I, if you just want to you know, go to our website, the information is all there.